Good morning campers, how are you? This is my big garden camp out and I thought it'd be a good chance to show you my gear for backpacking and wild camping and also this is what I was going to take on the Cape Raft Trail as well until obviously that got cancelled. So anyway, let's get stuck right in. Okay, so you can see here I've got the Six Moons Lunar Solo Tent which uh, is my summer tent because it's got a built-in midge net and when I don't need a midge net I would revert back to my MLD trail star. My rucksack, this is the Osprey Levity 45 and it's fairly lightweight, it's, uh, I think it's around 800 odd. I have two dislikes about it, it doesn't have any hip pockets, they've obviously stripped them out to save weight and I felt this could have been elasticated. Um, it's a bit restrictive, that pouch, once it starts getting a bit full, the mould, Ospreys have always been elasticated. So this is my sleep system and first things first is my sleeping bag. This is a Cumulus Ultralight 350. I've had this coming up for nine years now. And you can see there, there's a couple of wee rips there. Some fellas have escaped, but on the whole, it's done the proud. Like I said, I've had this for nine years and I might replace it at some point, maybe with a quilt. My pillow you see here, this is the Helium pillow, which is out of Decathlon. It's not the lightest pillows ever, but it's one of the most comfortable. I quite want to carry just that little bit extra weight for more comfort. And underneath, I've got my sleeping pad. This is the X-Ped Sinmat in medium. Again, uh, I got this for my Christmas just last year. It's, I've only used it two, three times, I think, but it's really comfortable. And this honeycomb pattern design there actually does work. It stops you sliding off. Although, I could have done with something somewhere underneath as well. But on the whole, I really like this. It's got a good R value, so it can do some of the milder winter nights. Uh, and it also comes with a schnozzle bag, which you use for obviously pumping it up so you don't get your breath inside it and causing mould in the long run. A tip for you, when you're deflating your X-Ped mat, it's got this little toggle and what this does is you just pop that inside the valve and it lets all the air escape when you're rolling it up and my Alp kit cloud base has also got something similar uh, and that just lets the air escape when you're rolling it up. Next up is my cooking set up. So first things first we will touch on the pot. This is the Alpkit Mai Tai 650. I've been using this for a while now as you can tell with all the marks on it. I like this pot, it's really good. No complaints about that. The MSR equivalent was just a bit too expensive. I've gone for the Speedster stove, a windshield and pot stand. It's got the little legs inside there. I asked Gary who makes these to actually cut this in half so it fits inside my pot because these are usually a bit taller so I have lost a maybe a little bit of efficiency for the burn time there. This is my little stove, weighs nothing. I carry around 100ml of bioethanol with me and I would obviously take a bigger bottle for bigger trips. This is just a little measuring cap that I got from mouthwash, it's just to make sure I don't overuse my fuel. I usually just put in 20 mils, sometimes you'll get away with 15 mil depending on how much water you're boiling. This is the Sea to Summit uh, Alpha Light spoon. I've also got the fork and knife to go with this, but I tend to find I only really need a spoon for porridge and my freeze dry meals. This is my Primus lighter, I've had this for years. As you can see all the lacquers came off that used to be red. It's a reliable little lighter. This here is the Cascade Wild little camping table, it's 65 grams and it just makes a difference for cooking. Put a little bit of silver foil there to stop some of the heat going into it and then there you go. Um, <clears throat> that, unless you went stoveless, I don't think you could find a much lighter setup than that. This is my hydration setup. I've got a rinsed out coke bottle. This is just for collecting water on the go. There's usually plenty of water on the hills, so I don't need to carry too much at any one time, so that's enough. 
when I reach camp I'll fill up my platypus that holds two litres of water and just in case I can't find any fresh water I've also got the Sawyer's mini filter as well. This here is my electronics so I've got the little Garmin in each mini. This is a satellite communicator it's also got the SOS button. I'm not going to go into too much detail but basically it's a subscription service, it's £25 a year, then £15 a month as well. So it is a wee bit pricey, but it does give you and your loved ones a bit of peace of mind. Uh, I've got three built-in messages that I can send to my partner. Um, if I just go here, I've got, that's me up and ready to go. I'm stopping here for the night. I'm checking in, everything's okay. So I can send that just now because I've got an active subscription at the moment. And that little arrow is saying that's sending and the, the message is still standing there put that down just now I've got a little Bluetooth speaker that I sometimes take with me this has actually got a nice little sound that comes out of it and it's good just for uh, listening to podcasts or a bit of music this here is my 10,000 milliamp anchor charger and it comes with a cable as well and this just charges my phone and GoPro and other bits and bobs these are brilliant and they cost about £20 I've got a bigger one as well for bigger trips away this here is the 4 class head torch from Decathlon it's not the brightest you'll ever get but at the same time it's bright enough so it's more than adequate for walking and setting up camp ok so this is my miscellaneous other stuff so I've got my little poo shovel for burying my poo I've got a pair of sunglasses here's just a little mixed bag of hygiene I've got hand sanitizer, toothbrush, toothpaste and I've got some sun lotion this is my first aid kit I've got just the essentials, some plasters a bandage etc I've got a whistle that I clip onto my rucksack map and compass and I've got a sit mat I never used to take a sit mat with me when I went wild camping but they're handy to have to obviously sit on you can also use them to kneel on to keep your knees dry and you can even stick them between your knees for when you're sleeping at night if you wake up with sore knees that can prevent that as well and these items go in a little stuff sack of their own Right, so we're on the clothes that I carry with me on my pack First things first, we've got the Montane Prism Gloves. I take these year round. Other than the coldest of winter days, they do me really well. They're brilliant. Pack up really small. This is the Montane Prism Hat. That's the Rab Miko Long Johns. Spare pair of scants. Here I've got my Alp Kit base layer for sleeping in or for swapping over spare pair of socks and sock liners that I sleep in with the long johns and I've got a stuff sack for all them to go in as well this is my mountain equipment super flux uh, featherless down jacket just bought that recently really like it it um, was minus one to zero degrees on my Pentlands Wild Camp two three weeks ago with a wind chill of around minus seven and this dealt with it really well so first impressions really good jacket waterproofs I've got the mountain equipment firefly pack light I've had this for a few years now it's been really good up until now no complaints whatsoever comes with its own little stuff sack and my waterproofs are the Bergos pack lights Gore-Tex as well and that comes with its own little stuff sack as well again brilliant for them for a few years now and uh, touch wood have been brilliant alright guys that's me ready to go I've got six and a half kilograms on the back and I've got my black diamond trick poles if you've got any questions about my gear or you've got any suggestions how I can maybe shed some weight in my pack please let me know in the comments section below if you've enjoyed this film please give me the thumbs up if you haven't already please do subscribe as well it really does help small channels grow otherwise i'm ready to go see you in the next one